Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you something you all asked me about over Snapchat, curls. I call this the sex pot curl, and it's super easy, effortless, kinda looks like you just had sex type of hairdo. So let's get started. First I'm gonna show you the product I'm gonna be using. There's only four products, super easy. So we're gonna use Kevin Murphy Do Over Texturizing Spray, and we're gonna use this at the end. And then we're also gonna use Hairspray by Paul Mitchell, it's called Worked Up. And of course, a dry bar alligator clip. You guys know I love these, I'm obsessed. And lastly, my all-time favorite curling iron, Hot Tools. You can find this at the drugstore or on Amazon, and I'll leave the link below. It's a 1.5 inch. So what we're gonna do first is use our dry bar alligator clip and you're gonna section up your hair. So I just like to do like a half up, half down kind of thing. I'll do like a little bun in the back and just take my dry bar clip and clip it in. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using my curling iron to curl away from my face and leaving one inch out of the curling iron at the bottom and the top. So it's really important to always leave an inch out at the bottom. You don't want that curly Sue look and if you don't leave a little bit out at the bottom, then it's gonna give you that kind of like overly curled, like made up pageant look. So another thing you can see I'm doing is I'm keeping the curling iron parallel to my face, and then as I release it, I slowly let it out. So you're kind of just getting like light curls. It's nothing major. And at the end, we're gonna go ahead and shake it out. So I like to do all the pieces on my hair keeping that one inch out, keeping that one inch out at the top, slowly unraveling it. So you're gonna wanna have your curling iron set at 380, and what you're gonna do is kind of spread the hair out on the curling iron, um, and then you can kind of feel when it's ready to be taken off. You don't want it too hot, maybe about 10 to 15 seconds, and then just release that curl, again, parallel to the face. So you're doing this on every piece of hair, Sometimes you have to go over a couple front pieces, again, just to make sure that it's just how you want it. Okay, so this is the bottom half of your hair, so it's not gonna matter as much as the top, so don't freak out if it's not perfect. Um, you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing we did on the right side, on the left side holding that curl for 10 seconds, keeping it parallel to your face and keeping that one inch out on the top and the bottom. When we are done with the bottom half, we are gonna go in for the top half. So the whole process takes about 15 minutes, sometimes 20, but I really like it because it's therapeutic and I'm not on my phone and I can just sit here and do the same thing over and over. Um, I like to play music while I'm doing this or watch a YouTube tutorial on my phone or even watch Snapchat, whatever. It's just nice to have my phone out of my hands and use the curling iron and get creative. So we're not gonna use the brush because what's a brush? I never use a brush. We're just gonna use our fingers to kind of comb our hair out and then we are going to start in on the right side with the same curling iron set at 380, leaving that one inch out and that one inch out at the top, kind of just feeling it about 10 to 15 seconds. And you're just gonna go over and do the same exact thing we did on the bottom onto the top. So it's really important to remember to not go too much up on the root for this because you want like that straighter, like hippie chic kind of vibe as opposed to like so curled at the top that it looks like a pageant girl circa 1980. Um, and it's really, really important to continue to keep those curls parallel by doing the curling iron parallel to your face. Okay, so the two front pieces, I don't like them too intense, so I just do it for like a second, just a little bit of a bend. This is up to you. Some people like like a deep, super wave on their face. I don't. I like just a little bit, just a little bend, and I do that all around these pieces, right around the face. Okay guys, so we are done with the curls. We achieved that sex pot, easy effortless hair, and we're gonna go in with Kevin Murphy's Do Over and just spray it lightly. This is texturizing spray and it's amazing. A little goes a long way here. 
So just kind of brush it through your hair and you're always going outward away from the face. So the texturizing spray is gonna give it like kind of a, I didn't wash my hair look, but in a cool way. And then lastly, we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of hairspray. This is Paul Mitchell worked up and I only like a little bit and I just like to kind of push it through my hair just to hold the curl a little bit. Shake it all out a little bit and you're ready to go. Friday night sex pot curls. So there you guys go. You got your Friday night sex pot curls ready to go. These last me from two to even five to even six. Don't tell anyone. Days, you can sleep on them, wear it in a sleep bun. I'll leave the link below for that. And tell me what you wanna see next. Subscribe to the Skinny Confidential YouTube channel and expect more beauty and hair tutorials soon.